Guys, about two, maybe three years ago, I built this. This was a $20 family dollar truck right here. A little RC truck, very basic, but it kind of has potential. And I, I put actually a Traxxas 2075X front servo and a Power HD 23kg rear servo on this. Bam, bam. Inside it's got an old axial AE5 or AE2 ESC. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not popping the top on this because if I recall correctly, it's a mess inside. What I can do is show you guys the truck, take it out there and try it out on some rocks. Uh, if I recall correctly, the tires are so hard it likes to bounce. But anyways, I'll show you guys this on the table. And take it outside. Take a look. Look at how monstrously big this thing is compared to the Agfield 24. <laughs> That's such a tiny little guy. I have not done any mods to this thing. Wow. Um, anyway, this guy right here. Now, if I recall correctly, these tires, you know, made it bounce and all that. So, but the tires themselves, as far as the wheels go, they appear to be about an inch and a quarter and the tires are actually three inches tall. If you guys have any suggestions for tires that may would go on this, you know, something to soften it up, because I got a feeling we're gonna see some bouncing out there. The front servo is a uh, Traxxas 2075X. The rear servo is 23kg uh, Power HD. So uh, just the stock motors, I made it droop, so MOA. Yeah, the servos are actually glued on with amazing goop. Yeah, just kind of made stuff work. Obviously, foldable steering, so. Anyways, we're gonna take that giant monster out for a drive. It's just amazing to me that it's actually big as a pose. Now the body, oh, that's interesting. The bodies are actually comparable. That is interesting. Anyways, back to the rock beast. Let's get this thing outside. Now, the last time I drove this, I'm not even sure if I had these rocks back here. These tires are obviously not very good. <laughs> well, this little guy, there we go. Now I got these new rocks right here. I really have my doubts. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh. Had to, uh, Give it the old hand of God there. <laughs> it's so small. There's no way it's going to make it up this. So little, it doesn't even get any grip. It just kind of just bounces and then it bounces up there. Woo, we did it. Wow, this is way too much for this little guy. Yeah, it's like, that's just it. Wow. Maybe I need to come over here and just drive it down some stuff and maybe across some stuff that's not quite as violent as what we just saw. Um, well, hmm. All right. Let's uh, move along a little more. Aha. And we're just gonna keep on driving like nothing ever happened. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, got up that. Pretty sure I can make it across Mr. Giggles. And no, I cannot possibly. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, this is going to be <laughs> an epic fail. Oh, oh, that's so scared it lost its guts. I got to put those back in. There we go. All right. <laughs> if it even gets up this, I'll be impressed. <laughs> All right, reset. I'll be in amazement if it actually gets this. Oh, one more try. Why not? Oh, oh. Wow. Come on, little one. Oh man, that was so close. So far it has not been pretty. Not been pretty at all. This could be like the Grand Canyon of Doom for this thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Too tough. See what we can do here. Oh. All right. Moving along. Oh, not moving here. Wow. All right. Moving along a little bit here. Oh yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get across this. Wait, that wasn't an issue. Ooh. <laughs> it's like having dig at both ends. Oh. No, it didn't work. Miraculously, it's back on its tire. I think some of my lizards are as big as this thing. <laughs> oh man I think if these tires would conform it would be a lot better oh it's about to crash isn't it oh yeah so yeah it is uh, quite the bounce. These tires do not conform at all. I mean, at least those little tires do conform. But if you guys happen to know of any tires about three inches tall uh, for like a 1.25 wheel, comment down below. Let, let me know what you got. You know, uh, I, for some reason, now all of a sudden, I'd like to see what it can do on tires that actually work. I think it'll actually climb pretty well until like one of the motors lets some magic smoke out. So anyways, I'm going to try to find this. If I can find it, I'll link it below. Now granted, if you buy one of these, it will not be like this. Not even close. It's got like that little steering circuit that goes 
just holds one way and then holds the other way. Uh, speed control isn't all that great. Obviously, no four-wheel steer. I had to buy two trucks to get that. But anyway, guys, I will try to find a link for this thing down below. And I'll also put some affiliate links. A-Main, eBay, Amazon, Red Cat, Walmart. They are down there. To use those links, just simply put whatever you want in your cart. Click on one of the links to go to the site and check out. It's a nice, easy way to support the channel. Um, and you can do that without having to become a member or anything. If you do decide to become a member, well, you get early viewing on videos with no ads. So usually when I record, I try to record, you know, five, six videos in a day. But during the week, because I work 10 hours a day with drive time and all that, sometimes 12. So I try to set up during the week and, you know, try to get everything done in a batch. If I get to do a big up set of uploads, well, you get early viewing. Sometimes it may only be for three hours. Sometimes you may have a week to watch it. Anyway, guys, uh, in that description are those affiliate links. So use those, support the channel, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.